sahakarna for the one who strives science is always a helping hand greetings to everyone respected judges and all the audience i prapti deepak budhant from kb rohmare junior college kopargaon present my speech in the state level online elocution competition organized by spectrum education to speak on the topic bharat's progress in science and technology today i stand here to talk about a journey a journey that began thousands of years ago and still continues to soar unimaginable heights while the organizers have gracefully introduced the topic i feel it important to shortly mention about our ancient achievements because what we are today is deeply rooted to the brilliance of our past ancient india wasn't just about kings and kingdoms it was the land of aryabhatta who calculated the value of pi of charaka and sushitra who practiced surgery even the rest of world was still figuring out herbal remedies zero the very foundation of modern computing was given to the world by india but that's enough of the past let us talk about the present and future because that's where the true excitement lies fast forward to 1947 india gains independence a poor war torn nation struggling to feed its people yet with visionaries like homi baba and vikram sarabhai the seeds of modern science were sown in 1969 isro was born who would have thought that an organization that started with launching small rockets from bicycles would one day send missions to mars and the sun and that too on a budget less than some of the hollywood movies speaking of isro let's not forget the mangalyaan mission a mission that made india the first country to reach mars in its first attempt while others were busy debating possibilities india simply did it and that too in a cost effective way prompting even nasa to take notes but the story doesn't end here with the chandrayaan mission and the recent aditya l1 solar mission we are literally reaching the stars and this is not just about national pride these missions contribute to global knowledge advancing humanity as a whole and then comes the man who made us dream big dr apj abdul kalam the missile man of india from developing the agni and prithvi missiles to co developing brahmas the world's fastest supersonic cruise missile his contributions were not just about defense they were about making india self reliant today we are not just safeguarding our borders but we are exporting this defense technology to other countries who would have thought that a nation dependent on imports would one day become an exporter of advanced weapons but science just isn't about launching satellites it is about protecting our nation too from radar systems to advanced fighter jets from drones to cyber warfare technologies science is our silent soldier from space to cyberspace india has led a digital revolution with the digital india initiative we have connected the remotest villages to the internet and this brings me to smart farming yes you heard that right farming is no longer about just soil and seeds today with modern farming tools farmers are using sensors to measure soil moisture drones to monitor crop health and even mobile apps to check market prices imagine this a farmer in a rural village of india using satellite data to decide right time for sowing isn't that empowerment and all this is happening while i'm still figuring out how to make my wifi work properly and in it sector from being mere service providers indian it companies now lead in ai machine learning and cyber security today when you ask alexa a question or use google assistant remember there is probably an indian engineer who played role in making that possible but it is not just about technology it is about healthcare too india is a pharmacy of world producing affordable medicines and vaccines remember the covid-19 pandemic while developed nations struggled india supplied vaccines to over 100 countries we didn't just protect ourselves we protected humanity and speaking of healthcare india's advancement in medical technology is remarkable from robotic surgeries to 3d printed organs we are setting global standards but science isn't just about transforming industries it is about transforming our lives from digital payments to online education from smart kitchen to robotic vacuum cleaners science is right there in our homes we have smart TVs uh, smarter than some people i know and refrigerators that reminds us to buy milk if they could only remind us to study right and speaking of education the national education policy is revolutionizing how we learn online platforms virtual classrooms and ai driven personalized learning education is no longer confined to four walls today a student in a remote village of india has access to knowledge as one living in a metropolitan city but are we done yet absolutely not 
from renewable energy to electrical vehicles, from biotechnology to advanced defense systems. India is constantly innovating. We are not just catching up with the world, but we are leading the way. But every coin has two sides. We face challenges. Cyber threats, data privacy issues and the ever-present digital divide between urban and rural India. But challenges are just opportunities in this case. And we, as next generation, must rise up to these challenges. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam once said, You have to dream before your dreams can come true. Well, India dream big. And look at where we are today. But the real question is, are we ready to dream even bigger? This is not just a speech. It is a call to action. A call to innovate. Because the world is watching. And the future is waiting. And as we, Indians, have always known to turn our dreams into reality. Thank you.